Hi friends, it's me Swastik and today I'll show you how to use Python on your phones. You might want to do this if you don't have a PC and you want to test your code or you could be traveling. So um, let's just get straight into it. What you have to do is open your Play Store and uh, or App Store and search for Python IDE. Now the first app that is PyDroid 3 will be downloading that. So let's just install it and um, um while it is installing uh if you like the video please uh li hit the like button and subscribe okay so it's done downloading now we'll open it it's gonna download python uh so you're just gonna wait for some time and um, let's wait then i guess Okay, so it's done uh, installing Python now, and we can start typing something. Um, so let's just print hello world, and uh, print hello world, just to check if it works, and it works well. And uh, you can do everything that you can do on the PC version. Uh, you can also use the terminal, and this is the best part of this app, that you can access the terminal. So let me just try installing something. I guess Pygame, I think it is already installed. Um, yep. Uh, so you can install packages from here, and you can run scripts from here as well. And you can save scripts uh, if you go here, and you can save the script. Let me just write some small script, and we'll save it and check if it works. So let's just write um, a coin flipping um, a script, I guess. Uh, so, uh, so this is a variable. We'll just uh, say that this variable is equal to random dot rand range. Now this is a function. Um, the parameters are either you start from zero. So if you just put one number, that means the it will return a number from zero to three and uh, 0 to 2 actually so it doesn't count the last one so to get two numbers that is 0 and 1 I'll just put 2 in here so they should return uh, 0 and 1 with 50-50% chance so let's just um, say if coin state now we can use something called see if it's 0 that means um, 0 is um, evaluated as false so you can just write if coin state that means if it's zero then we can say it's it it's tails I, I just you can choose anything but I'm just gonna choose tails so and else you can just print um, uh, heads let's see if it works tails and let's see oh Let's see if it's uh, heads now. It's tails again. Is it head? It's tails again. Okay, it's heads now. And tails. So it's a little bit biased, but as we keep doing this, we'll see that it works. Okay, so it is a little bit biased, but it's just because of our luck. We can actually run a while loop as well to check while. Now you can uh, copy this and uh, hit tab and it should indent it for you um, what happened here why is it showing an error okay it's fine now uh, so we're just running that we can run it for i guess um we can have a counter uh, while c is equal to zero uh sorry while c is not equal to zero uh not equal to so exclamation mark i guess we can run it a thousand times Right, uh, we can have C starting from zero, and um, every time we run, we just uh, set C uh, to increase by one every time. Uh, not decrease by one, increase by one. Um, yeah, and let's just have a heads counter. So heads equals to zero. 
we can just put here every time it's heads we just set this to increase by one so uh, yep uh, equal to one and um, we can calculate tails accordingly let's at the end after it's done uh, tossing the coin a hundred times we can just print the percentage of heads so it will be heads divided by 1000 into 100 which will be we can cal we can just divide by uh, 10 to get the number it's actually uh, if you write it it's uh, like this but to make it short I'll just divide it by 10 so let's see if it's around 50 percent let's run it uh, tails 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 that was a lot of tails um, if coin state is zero um, tails oh we always flip just once that's the problem here if we actually if to check change the coin state every time we, we just change the coin state once so is there the cut option I'm just gonna paste it here because we just changed it once it was tails for once and it was always tails so yeah let's just paste it and run it now yeah so as you can see it's 53 percent um heads so yeah the, and let's just save it to see if it works so we'll save and we can just save it anywhere i don't really care um just make a folder here for python and uh, save it here um access error i guess here and uh, there might be some access errors python okay there you go let's select this folder and just save it as i don't know coin tosses coin.py i guess i don't know and there you go it's for saved now if i delete this um wait let me just uh, open it again if i uh, delete the code i should be able to load it back and uh, delete okay it's not saved um let me just see can i open internal storage python will be like down here somewhere uh p p p there you go and i can open coin.py so as you can see it works uh, like uh, kind of an ide um you, there's no autocomplete that's a feature that's not there and uh, you can do everything else um so yeah thanks for watching if you liked uh, the video hit the like button and also subscribe it helps me out a lot okay then we'll meet in the next video bye